Good morning, everyone. My name is Irlanda Antunes. I am honored to be part of an uh, international club. I am, I'm also the, I'm, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm also proud to be the president of the International Club, too. Today we're here to, to celebrate diversity. Diversity is when you have different culture around you, and that's an example of what we have here today. Um, I want to take this, I want to give a special thanks to the staff, the president of BCC, uh, my beloved classmate, and my fa faculty. Um, in my high school, there wasn't a lot of diversity. It's kids, a student, parent. Um, coming to BCC and seeing amazing the culture diversity in here, it made me want to enjoy the, the, the international club, seeing people from different backgrounds, seeing people that was from another culture coming together and celebrate this day, it means a lot to me. I want to... I want to introduce you to Dr. L Dr. Lawrence, uh, Dr. Lawrence Douglas, the president. For her to be here today with us, it's amazing, and I will. I want. I want to thank her for being here with us. Um, everyone, please welcome Dr. L Douglas. Well, hello, and it's so great to be here. Good morning. I am Laura Douglas, uh, the fourth president of BCC, and I'm just about here on my fourth month, com well, completed my fourth month, and it's, uh, it feels great. And it's the best part of my day is when I can get out and meet students and hear your stories. That's very important to me because at the end of the day, you are the ones that we serve. You are our reason for being. I, when Livia told me about Map Day, I was so excited. I thought, wow, this is just a great, great event. I am I'm going to be so interested in seeing uh, all the various places um, that you come from. And, uh, and maybe you can tell me a little bit also, as International Club students, about why you're here. Um, that would make me really happy. So please, and if you don't have time today to tell your story and you see me around campus, please come up to me, introduce yourselves, and tell me who you are and why you're here at BCC. That only enables me to do a better job of serving you. So I was an international student at one time when I was in college. I did spend a semester in Mexico. Uh, and that led me to want to do more things at the international level. And after I finished college, I went to Japan. I didn't speak Japanese. How many of you came to this country without speaking much English? Yeah, I know exactly what that's like. And I couldn't read the alphabet. And Jap in Japan, there are three different alphabets that you have to know in order to read. Uh, so I began studying Japanese and, uh, in order to work there and to, to earn an income. And over my life, I was able to spend seven years uh, in Japan, and that was really great. Uh, also, I was able to do some work in, um, in Thailand for Cambodian refugees as well as uh, work in Malaysia. Um, so I know that every country that I visit and every country where I live, I feel a very special bond with that country and for the people. And so I hope that you are developing a very special bond with people here in Bristol County, Massachusetts, and in the United States. I know how difficult it can be to live in another country. Um, as an American woman in Japan, um, Wow, what an experience it was. Have you noticed that I'm a little bit tall? <laughs> yes, I was always taller than everybody around me. And uh, every day, people, when I would meet people on the street, they would all, I, there, would, there was always someone who would tell me, wow, you're tall. <laughs> and then whenever I went out to eat, and of course we use chopsticks, 
without fail, even after living in Japan for seven years and being expert with chopsticks, someone would say, oh, you are so good with chopsticks. How did you learn to do that? Do you get some of these questions as international students? Yeah. And then I would sit on the bus and um, there would be people behind me who would touch my hair <laughs> because they had never touched hair like mine before. And for many people where I lived in Japan, I was the first foreigner, we call them gaijin, I was the first gaijin that they had ever met. So it was not unusual for people to come up to me and start touching me, my hair, my skin, and I won't even tell you about the time that I went to hot springs where you get naked and you sit in a hot pool. I won't even tell you what people would do to me in a hot spring uh, because that was just fascinating uh, being in another country. Um, sometimes it was very hard. I didn't want that every day. I just wanted to blend in. I just wanted to be me. I'd go grocery shopping and little kids would go, oh, foreigner, 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 and run up to me and, and ask me, you know, really silly questions because in Japan, foreigners go on these really silly TV shows. Like you've probably seen like the precursor to what is it, the American Ninja show. They did some really crazy things like that. And they always thought of us as kind of crazy, zany people. And I really hated that stereotype. But when I would be out and about, I would always remember that I am an ambassador for my people and for my country. And I would often have to just take a deep breath and recognize that as crazy the questions may be about who I am and where I come from, I had a great opportunity to educate people about the United States, uh, about women in the United States, and about the importance of having great relationships between people throughout the world. So I'm guessing that maybe some of your experiences are a little similar. You can nod your head if you've had some of those experiences. Uh, and I want to thank you for the patience that you have, uh, for all of us who are really sincerely trying to learn more about you and understand you and make you feel welcome, because you are very, very welcome here at Bristol Community College. So I want to thank Yolanda, the International Club, for giving me a chance to welcome you here to MAP Day, and I can't wait, wait to participate in the festivities that follow. Thank you. I would like to take this moment to welcome Anna Dipina. She's going to be calling the culture, I mean the country, and please welcome Anna. Good morning, everyone. My name is Anna, and I am from Cape Verde. And today we're here to um, learn a little bit about uh, different cultures, and we, I'm going to explain a little bit about Map Day. Map Day, um, I'm going to be calling out names of the countries. So whoever represent the countries would get up. And um, I have Michelle and Walter right here that will give you guys some uh, stickers to put it in, in your countries. And sh they will definitely help you guys as well. Um, I am a international club treasurer. I'm going to start calling out names. The first country I have is... Algeria. If you have someone that represents Algeria, would please stand up and come towards the map. No one from Algeria? All right. I have Angola. If you have anyone from Angola. Again, my name is Annabella. I'm from Angola. And this is my country. Uh, our official language is Portuguese. But besides Portuguese, we have eight other languages. So I speak two of them. One from my mama, tribal, one of my, my dad, tribal. So Angola is a rich country. 
we have a lot of diamond. And something interesting in my country, after 37 years, we got a new president. So this, this is a new thing that uh, I, he was a president before I was born. So he, he's still president. So now this year we got a new president after 37 years. This is something interesting from my country. Thank you. And now we have Argentina. If they have anybody from Argentina, would please come up to the map. Um, Azores, if there's anyone from Azores, would please come up. No. Uh, Bangladesh, anyone from Bangladesh would please stand up. Hello everyone, my name is Fahmi Doctor. I'm from Bangladesh, and this is my friend, Ida. Hi, I'm Irene, I'm from Bangladesh. Um, Bangladesh is not a rich country, but um, we have lots of people. We have a longest sea beach in Bangladesh, which is called Cox's Bazar, and we have a largest mangrove forest, which name is Shundarban, and we got our liberation uh, in 1971, and at least over one million people died for liberation. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. And now we have Brazil. Anyone from Brazil? No? We got Livia. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> Hi, hello, I'm Joya. I'm actually excited, I'm visiting BCC today, didn't expect to be talking in front of international students. I actually work at another community college with international students, so it's very exciting for me. So I'm from Brazil, from the northeast of Brazil, it's a town called Fortaleza. Uh, Brazil is the largest country in South America, we speak Portuguese, it's as large as the U.S. if you don't include Hawaii and, I think, Alaska. So, and we are the only country that speaks Portuguese. Everybody else speaks Spanish. Thank you. Now we have Canada. Anyone from Canada? No. Okay. Um, Cambodia. Anyone from Cambodia? Cambodia, come on, get up. <laughs> Don't be shy, we're here to represent our country. Cambodia. Hi, my name is Rex. I work here for Upward Bound. Uh, this is Savan, and we're both from Cambodia. We grew up in a refugee camp where Laura Douglas um, had worked, and thank you, Laura. <laughs> um, Cambodia is home to one of the seven wonders of the world. It's called Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is the biggest temple in the world. It uses more stones than all the great pyramids combined, and you can see it from space. So it shows you, and there's a city underneath it, which is home to the first metropolis, which is over one million people. Um, so it's a very, historical uh, country. Very diverse, as you can tell from us. Uh, so. <laughs> also, I just want to mention that uh, in uh, 2000, I was the international student as well. Wow. Thank you.
And I believe that the pretty amount of the students here now is from Cape Verde. So, Cape Verde. <laughs> All Cape Verde students can get up. It's okay, y'all can get up. All of it, all Cape Verde students, let's get up. Let's represent our country. I am from Cape Verde as well. I got my map shirt. Faculty as well. When, I, when I'm thinking about Cape Verde, I think that my country is so unique. Um, we're so small, I feel like you can even see it, but, but we're strong together. Um, we're, from, I'm from, we're all from Cape Verde. Uh, Cape Verde has 10 islands, um, but each island I think it's unique too. We all, our accent, we speak Cape Verde in Creole, but the accent is different from one in another. We, our food is amazing. The music is amazing. The clothes and everything, special. the people are amazing too. Anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> now we have Chile. Anyone from Chile? Um, China, anyone from China? China, come on China. You can do it. Colombia, anyone from Colombia? Colombia? Um, Congo, anyone from Congo? Oh. Yeah. Sorry guys, I have to honor my mom because she's from Congo. I don't have Angola, so. uh, <laughs> Congo is similar as Angola. They are neighbors right here. So they have similar culture, but they speak French and Lingala. They also have many other languages. So also it's a rich country. They have nice people like me. <laughs> and they are beautiful people. Thank you. Okay. Um, Cuba, anyone from Cuba? Okay. Um, Dominican Republic, anyone from Dominican Republic? I don't know, I didn't expect this. Um, my name is Julissa, I'm from the Dominican Republic. It's a small country and beautiful, so. Thank you. Now we have Ecuador, anyone from Ecuador? Okay. Egypt, anyone from Egypt? Hello everyone, my name is Georges, come call me George because a lot of people don't know how to say my name, but it's cool, I got used to it. <laughs> um, been here for almost 10 years, 
um, graduated for um, high school. Um, this is my freshman year at Bristol, um, trying to study uh, international business so I can do a lot of traveling like um, uh, President Douglas did. Um, actually on a soccer team too, playoff this weekend. Um, hopefully you guys, um, hopefully we can make you guys proud and hopefully we can see some of you guys there. Game is at uh, Holyoke Community College, if anyone is excited. Uh, it's 11 actually, yeah. Saturday, yes. Thank you. El Salvador, anyone for El Salvador? France, anyone from France? Georgia, anyone from Georgia? Germany, anyone from Germany? Um, Guam. Anyone from Guam? Guatemala. Anyone from Guatemala? Um, Guinea Bissau. Hi everyone, my name is Isaac Santos. I'm from Guinea. It is a very small country in Africa. We also speak Portuguese and um, we're very nice people and uh, we're rich in a culture. And I hope someone one day you guys visit it. It's a very nice country. Guinea? Anyone from Guinea? Granada, anyone from Granada? Greece, anyone from Greece? Haiti. We have someone from Haiti, there you go. Hi everyone, my name is Monique Meriat, I'm from Haiti. Now we have India, anyone from India? Hello everyone. Um, my name is Oli and I'm from India. <laughs> now we have Italy. Anyone from Italy? Ireland. Jamaica. Jordan. Anyone from Jordan? Mali, anyone from Mali? Mexico, anyone from Mexico? Morocco, anyone from Morocco? Nepal? I'm the, my name is Ramesh Yadav, come from Nepal. Hello. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> come from Nepal. Nepal is a small country, but there is not a, 
is uh, Independence Day. The country is uh, self-independent. This is a long history with this one. Uh, this is a small country, but beautiful. So thank you. Thank you. Nigeria, anyone from Nigeria? New Zealand, Pakistan, Good morning, everyone, and my respected teacher. My name is Asma, and I'm from Pakistan. Um, I want to tell something about Pakistan. A few years, like 10, 15 years before, the Pakistan is poor country. Uh, uh, but now, I was um, like three, four months before I visit over there. The Pakistan is totally changed about for the education, industrial, food, and everything. Now it's too much progress over there. So, but the thing is the people are very friendly in the Pakistan. Thank you so much. Panama, anyone from Panama? Peru, anyone from Peru? Portugal? Anyone from Portugal? Puerto Rico? Anyone from Puerto Rico? Oh, you got two right here. <laughs> you guys wanna say something? Uh, my, name, my name is Walter Santos. I'm from Puerto Rico. Um, I've been here 10 years struggling a little bit. Uh, when I first came here, I struggled English. I suck at it so badly. Um, I say to my twin brother, his name is Luis Santos. He helped me a lot and always supported me. Um, hello, my name is Javier Aponte and I'm from Puerto Rico too. And so I, I came here to VCC to study animal healthcare. So, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Russia, anyone from Russia? Russia, sorry. Let's see Russia. Hi everyone, my name is Anita. Um, well, I'm not from Russia exactly, I'm from a satellite country that used to be part of the former Soviet Union until 1991, so I'm from Kyrgyzstan. And uh, as of two days ago, I will have been in the United States for 15 years. Spain, anyone from Spain? Saudi Arabia, Thailand, um, the Netherlands, My name is Lotte, and we are here with a group of uh, uh, professionals from the Netherlands to visit uh, yeah, this school for an exchange program. Uh, and I want to tell you something about the Netherlands. Uh, we are a very small country and are really flat, but if, it wasn't a problem if there were mountains because we are really tall. So if there were mountains, we look over the mountains. So you're welcome in Holland, but we are not going to say that you are too tall. 
Um, we go everywhere by bike. You use the car uh, always, but we go by bike. So we go to the red light district in Amsterdam, and we go to the coffee shop. No, that's only the places where tourists go. Um, but uh, every year, 25,000 bikes are saved out of the kennels in Amsterdam. So that's a funny fact, I guess. Um, we are the largest beer exporter of the world. Uh, so we drink beer and we eat bitterballer when we drink beer. It's a very famous dish in Holland. Uh, and we have the best cheese of the world. I know you think that you have the best cheese, but your cheese is not cheese. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're all welcome in the Netherlands and uh, then we can show you more than just Amsterdam and the famous parts over there. Somebody else no. more? No? Okay, thank you. Now we have um, Filipinas. Anyone from Filipinas? Okay. Now we have um, Republic of Moldolev. Moldova, excuse me. United States. Anyone from United States? United States students? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi. My name is Kyle, and I am at BCC here taking classes. I'm learning English, and America is first. <laughs> so my first language is sign language. And I'm hoping to teach in America, teach students here, and, be help, and help them. I've been living in the United States, but was born in the Philippines. in Westfield, Maine. And when I was two, I moved here. And so I'm learning English as a second language as well here. I am, I am from Pakistan, but I have my three kids, uh, six year, five year, and she's two year. And they are Pakistan. They are American, <laughs> so we are here. Thank you. Turkey, anyone from Turkey? Okay. Romania? Romania, can you pronounce? <laughs> Last but not least, Vietnam. Anyone from Vietnam? Hello everyone, my name is Yen, I'm from Vietnam. Uh, I'm so proud to uh, stand here to tell you about my country. Uh, we speak Vietnamese, it's so different from English. But anyway, uh, going to BCC is so wonderful for me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is the end of the countries, and um, I want to thank everybody for um, coming and represent their countries. Um, I'm going to call out the president. I would like to welcome Carrie Branquinho. She's the vice president of the International Club, and she's going to do the closing. Hello everyone, my name is Carrie Branquino and I'm a vice president of the International Club. 
I'd just like to say I'm honored to be a part of this. Um, this is all very amazing to see all those dots represented on this map here at BCC. How powerful is that? And we're just a community college. This is amazing. I'd like to thank President Laura Douglas for joining us today and the students, faculty, administration, and staff members of BCC. I'd also like to tell you that tomorrow in New Bedford campus, we're having a Latin Hispanic night to acknowledge Latin Hispanic Heritage Month. It's from six to eight at the New Bedford campus on, is it Purchase Street, right? Purchase Street, New Bedford. If you wanna come out and join, I'll be DJing and I believe they're having a panel. Um, as well as that, we have a fundraiser that's gonna be going on shortly for Puerto Rico to raise funds to help them recover. And there'll be the annual Thanksgiving dinner on November 21st. Um, i just like to say that international club means a lot to me. I didn't stand up for the United States, but that's where I was born. I was born in Massachusetts. But I've also, um, when I was in high school, was able to travel to the Azores in Ireland with the orchestra I was part of. And learning about di different cultures is very important. Um, and I'm happy that I have um, the opportunity to do that here at BCC. And that I'm here also, if anybody needs any help that's part of the international club or here on campus, please reach out to me. Um, if you're hungry, there's gonna be some refreshments and food behind you. Please help yourself and enjoy your day. Thank you. Very quickly, because I know everybody wants some cookies and coffee. I just wanted to say that the list of countries that we put together is based on, of, on our knowledge of the diversity represented here on campus. Sometimes people can't be here for this particular event, but we want to make sure we include everyone anyway, and um, they know that they are appreciated and respected here on this campus. So thank you again for attending, and please help yourselves to some refreshments. <laughs>